Toronto's very first official Diwali celebration is happening right now at Nathan Phillips Square. Over the last four months, 250 volunteers have been working to put this new festival together and bring it to the city's cultural scene. Now, organizers here telling us they're excited to see the turnout. One of them even telling us Diwali has been well known as a festival of light and celebration of good over evil, but says there's more to the story about where that celebration actually comes from. So there's one of the god called Rama in India, and when he had a victory after returning back to home after 14 years of his journey, which was a curse to him given by one, his own dad, uh, which he didn't want it to. So when he returned back to his kingdom, after killing all the demons, that's when we celebrated the whole town by lighting up and saying, it's the victory of good over evil, light over darkness. So we'll be, we'll be singing and dancing at the same time. We got about 18 people going to fill up the stage and the whole idea was it's a large stage and we got a large amount of audience and need a large amount of performers to keep everyone's eyes you know you know enticed through during the entire show it feels so amazing like you know after coming back uh, from india and being over here you 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 are uh, you know um, able to celebrate it again and again and uh, it uh, feels good So much of things happening in the world right now. So celebrating this Diwali with fireworks, we wish that this light can bring happiness, joy in everyone's life. Now between both days, 700 performers are expected to be in over 60 shows. Now the event officially wraps up on Sunday with a huge fireworks display that's going to be coming out of both the towers out of City Hall. And that happens Sunday night, officially closing the event. At Nathan Phillips Square, David Zura, City News.